Welcome back everybody. I know it's it's been about a year since I uploaded a video. It's uh it's really been a long time. But here we are back again. Hopefully we're gonna be a little bit more consistent this time. And today we're gonna get our hands dirty in some gold mining. Not a little bit different than what we're what we're used to on the channel, mostly car stuff, but uh been looking at this game for quite a while. It looked pretty fun. It's on sale for for ten dollars. Whoops, wrong direction. Weird, why not? And if, uh, if anybody would mind dropping a comment down below, let me know how the audio sounds. I'm using my, my headset mic instead of my normal mic this time to see how it works. Oh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to stop by the bank right here. And we're going to go ahead and pull it out a little loan just to make our lives a little bit easier to get started. $600, not a huge loan. The smallest loan we can take out, it's gonna cost us about $1,000 to repay it, but it's gonna give us a nice little jump start when we don't buy all our equipment here. And oh, oh, almost forgot. Gotta rent the, uh, rent the land we're gonna be mining also. So I, I've played through about half of a season so far uh, at this, at this, excuse me, I've, I've played through about half a season so far on, uh, on this mine and I've made it up to where we're using excavator, excavators, and mobile wash plant. It's been pretty fun. We shut the truck off so don't waste our gas. Diesel, sorry. This will say fuel. I'm gonna need a couple buckets. Add those to the cart. Go ahead and grab one of these too. They they make life so much nicer. Okay. Uh, we are going to need one fat pipe, one fat hose, one thin hose. Um, water pump. Oh, we can't afford that one just yet. So we're gonna go with the small pump. Now, uh, which these these will pump, I believe, the same amount. Uh, 80 liters per hour and 80 liters per hour. Yes. But you know, this one runs on diesel. This one runs on electricity. So if you don't take out the loan, you have to use this pump or this hog pan and you can only I believe you can only afford one sluice box but with the loan we took out we can get the extension and the core and we can get this hog pan that uses the water pump don't forget your mats done that a couple times all right I believe that's all we need to get going uh, we'll come back and get generator and everything else later on uh, this will be our next big upgrade right here is a mobile wash plant. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, whoop. Almost forgot. Need to come back here and get a water filter. Keep that pump running nice. Right. Go and check out $888. This is going to be a bit of a chore to, uh, yeah, it just tells us everything's outside. This is going to be a lot of stuff to fit in this truck. <laughs> so let's go ahead. We can take a lot of this stuff. Like this. Actually, we can take that right there and put it right there. Take care of one more thing. Bad thing about this game is you can only carry one thing at a time. But once you get them going, you kind of get used to it. Thought they were going to stay like that. It's not intentional. That's what these little crates are for. They added these in in the last update. You can you're able to load them up as much as you can. and you know, The big hoses don't fit in there very well, though. Go ahead and throw our buckets up here in the front of the truck. Got to be a little bit careful with space on this first run. Uh, as soon as we get a little bit of money, 
come in here and buy the lark, the big trailer. Should be just in a, in a day or two here. Shouldn't take too long. Go ahead and see how this hog pan will sit in here, if it will. Hey, it will. All right. I'll lay the hose down. Whoops. Missed the jump. There we go. Yeah, lay that down nice and flat in there. This always works better if you kind of come over to the side of the truck. Instead of trying to go through the tailgate. Get it up in here a little farther. Up a little bit more room. Stick our water pump in there, slam tailgate, and see how we can balance these things. So hard to see. There we go. All right. Getting it. I really wish they would have put it at a different height or something to where you can see a little better when we're walking. Alright, definitely not a professional packing job, but it's there and it won't fall out. Surprisingly. Got a $160 to keep us going. So we'll go be getting some gold in no time. It's first day of the season right now. Got 10 days until summer. Uh, and yes, there's going to be several. Yeah, I'm not worried about the story stuff. Not right now, at least. Uh, if you guys want, if you want to see it filled out, just drop a comment below. Let me know you want to see it, and we will. Uh, I will do my best to find them all. I have. I've only found a few of them on my other other game save, but I haven't been trying either, to be real honest. There's two or three of them that are around here, but our uh, our first trip to the blacksmith, I'll I'll pick up a couple and show you guys what they're like. That probably won't be in this episode. Probably save that for the save that for the second episode. And whoop whoop whoop, I was going. And we'll just keep going. But here we are at a uh, old Arnold's parcel. Got our storage shed over here. All of our spare parts stay safe. We buy and sell, sell anything there. Anything we buy will be there. But that's all later. Let's uh, get this thing go. Oops, running the fence. Let's get this thing set up and ready to go. Shut the truck off. Alright. We're going to need this thing first. The sluice box core. Oh, am I stuck? Stuck on the fence. And it just slapped down right there. And then it's just going to be back and forth and back and forth until we're done. Oh, I really wish I could turn this off. Give me a second. Let me see if I can. Okay, we tried to save one prompts. So we'll see how that works. Put this pump over here. We don't have to listen to it as much. But eventually, when this is a gold mine, it's going to get loud. Oop, get that back in there. I want the whole crate. This isn't the most, uh, I'll be real honest, it's not the most uh, refined game out there, but it uh, it's, it's fun. It's kept me busy for last week or so and put our mats in before I forget about it and the last one get our feed hose and it over to the pump that was easy. We're almost set up. We're about ready to start digging. Grab our, our fat hose with the filter on it. I see the pump says here, you know, it tells you in and out. 
Oh, I like to drop my hose way back here in the corner, nice and deep. Because eventually, oh, I knew I was forgetting something. Got to get gas. All right, well, we'll finish getting this set up, and uh, I'll run and go get a jerry can and some fuel. That filled up with water first. And the re main reason I like to start off with a with a little bank loan, yeah, you got to pay it back. It, it sets you back just a little bit. But without uh, without the bank loan, like I said, we'd have to use the hog pan no pump, which means about every ten shovels we put in here, I have to go to the pick up a bucket, go to the creek, and dump it in, and let it flow through and rinse everything for us. With the pump. It does it for us all automatically. We just keep on shoveling until the mats are full. And just, I always fill my buckets up. We'll try to fill my buckets up before I put them down. So when I need them, they're there. And I like to keep this in the back of the truck most of the time. Just so it's always there when I go to the store. I will run back to the warehouse. Get a jerry can and we'll be back at the gas station. Alright, back at the warehouse. Run in and grab uh, a couple of jerry cans. <laughs> only really need one, but that verse to have a little extra. They're only $10 a piece. That will be uh, right outside in this storage area. Grab our crate out the back. We can just go ahead and throw both of them in there. See, it's not the not the smoothest running game all, uh, at all times, but it is. Uh, it's gotten better. It's definitely better with the newer updates. Run over here to the gas station, fill these up, and we'll meet back at the claim. Well, I guess I could show and show you guys how to fill it up. We'll treat this first episode as a little bit of a tutorial. Come to the gas station. It's just down the street from the bank. Grab your nozzle and just simple as that. Just press E on it. Or if you're using a controller, it'll it most of the time it'll pop up and show you. Fill both of them all the way up. Woo! Expensive. Probably should put gas in the truck, but whoops, shut it off. We'll uh, we'll be good for a couple days until we get some money rolling in. All right, back to the claim. Here we are, back at old Arnold's parcel. We'll be home sweet home for a little while. There are, I believe three maybe four other claims we can eventually move to but got a lot of work to do here first we'll just give you a little tour of the claim real quick we've got the hog pan site over here where we're going to be digging with shovels and then we're going to shut the truck off again and we've got our tent for our gold recovery and we can give a little tour of that later and camper just skips time for you. And then we've got all this area down here for when we upgrade to wash plants. When we first start getting set up, our mobile wash plant will set right here and we'll have everything down here with it. But we've got all of this area to take care of. Uh, it's going to take a while to get there. It'll take a while to get all the way back here, but uh, we'll do it eventually. Or maybe we'll move on to another. Oh, don't wreck the truck. I've never destroyed the truck, but I have flipped it once. <laughs> on my way from uh, from the claim here to the warehouse, I flipped it and froze the game. It was it was a whole mess. I lost three hours worth of work. I want to be a little bit careful. All right, parking 
brake, turn the truck off, grab our rate of fuel. Let's get started. Let's get some get some gold rolling in. And everything's set up. We do a filter on that, right? Yes, we do. Come around to this side and pull it. There we go. I'm not sure how well you can hear that, but I, so I've got my sounds turned down a little bit. But the pump is running. Water running through our sluice. Let's get our shovel and start going. Just left click to dig. Press E to dump. Now we're just going to continue to do this. Until we have 100% on all four of our mats. I want to go for a little while and uh, back. Oh, looky here. We already found it. Less than 10, less than 10 shovelfuls. We already found ourselves a gold nugget. You will, uh, you'll find gold nuggets periodically if you have the option turned on. Uh, as long as you click keep it here, you'll continue to get them. And that one, if you look up in the top right corner of the screen, it says 0.742 ounces. But well, that nugget right there is worth about $800. It almost paid off for a loan already. Obviously, we still have to go and sell it, but that just about pays for it. Just about one scoop is one percent. I don't. I don't think it's exactly one to one, but it's pretty close. I don't get into all those specifics like that playing games like this. It's just have fun of playing for what they are. But I, I guess, uh, I guess I owe a little bit of an explanation to the long-time viewers. Uh, I know there's a few of you out there. Uh, to be real honest, I just, life got busy and I kind of lost interest in making videos. I've been wanting to make videos again for probably the last six to eight months. It's just, it's been kind of hectic around here. And, uh, I was having some problems with my, with my computer. It just wasn't wanting to render. Uh, I use Adobe Premiere, and it's just it's taking a really long time. I was using a uh, 4790K, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I had an overclock of 4.6 on all cores. It just it was just starting to get a little slower and slower, and it uh, ended up having some problems with my USB ports. They started slowly going down one by one until I only had one port left. So we went ahead and, went ahead and upgraded and now with the new uh, with the new i9 9900K I really wanted to get back in this and you know use the 8 core 16 thread. Uh, use it for what it's meant to do not just play games. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna try and come back with some gold rush. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun playing this game. Uh, well, I shouldn't really say fun. To be real honest, it's not a not a very fun game, but it is entertaining. Keeps you busy, makes you think a little bit. And I think this is the most fun part of the game: is getting set up, getting going, learning how you want to have all your stuff set up, and it's almost a complete sandbox you know if I want to I can dig here or I can go over there uh, you can only dig on the dirt that looks like this so uh, any of this stuff it just oh wow, I made a liar out of me go stick it in the pan most of the time let's get a little farther away from it it just the shovel doesn't stay you don't get anything For the most part, you can set up your equipment however you want to set it up. Your uh, your big wash plant, the the tier three. This is considered tier one with the extensions. I guess we can go ahead and show you this. If you have any 
any issues while you're while you're playing come into your journal and it more or less tells you exactly what to do it's a little bit vague but you know most people can get a hold of it get a hang of it uh, just in this episode we're gonna stay on tier one we're not gonna be going for a really long time here and maybe in the next episode we can start getting tier two set up but uh I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up I'm gonna go ahead and get finished filling these mats up and uh, be back with you shortly hey look at there another nugget ah well, this time hopefully won't make the same mistake I did last time um other game save what I did not know about the gold, uh, gold nuggets is when you're in this area, this is considered a tier one area. Oh, while you're still here, once you bring on onto the claim any tier two equipment, which if we if we go back and look at the, I'm dump that real quick. If we go back and look at the journal, tier one hog pans, yada yada yada. Uh. Once we go to tier two, mobile wash plant, uh, the the pump is okay. We can, the pump will still consider tier one. We start using uh, mag the magnetite. I can never pronounce that word right. I'll get it right eventually. The magnetite separator or the wave table. We bring either one of those on, or any of this other equipment we will stop generating, it'll stop randomly generating gold nuggets. Which gold nuggets is kind of the way to give you a little bit of a boost without handing you money like a lot of other games do. And it kind of slowly weans you off. Uh, once your gold nuggets hit about about two ounces in size, uh, they really start going, slowing down. But as you can see here, I already have 8.3 ounces in, in nuggets. We're probably not even going to get that out of the mats. But uh, we'll be back in just a few to find out how much we get. And here we go. Last shovel pull. There we go. 100%. Switch back to our, put our shovel away. Switch back to our hands. Now, this is not necessary to unplug the, the water. Or I guess we could leave that plugged in. The only thing on the water we've got right now. And just turn the pump off. No point in wasting the extra fuel. And it makes it uh, makes it a little easier to get your mats out. It's a little bit buggy without turning the water off. You can, it, it can be done, but just a little easier without it. And I said, no point wasting. Kind of a win-win. Take our mats out, rinse them off in the water. See the water's turning more and more gold color. Oops. That's going to happen a lot. Alright, come over here, take her. Yes, we know. I tried earlier, like I said, I tried turning the uh, prompts off, and that worked. But it also got rid of the prompts for the gold nuggets. So, that obviously isn't going to be, isn't going to work. I would like to know when I get a nugget. Leave that in the truck. And let's go ahead and go on a little tour of our, our, our tent here. Fortunately, you can't mess with anything over here, but you can store stuff in here. Uh, but here's our here's our gold pan and our pan, they call it a panning system, old bathtub. <laughs> there we go. Fill it up with water. There we go. And you know what? We'll just leave it right here. Bring everything out here so we don't have to keep going in and out. Really, there's not much point in going in here, other than to use the tablet, and that's pretty much out of uh, out of reach right now. There's no point in us using that. Nothing we can do right now. All right, we come back over here, bring our pan, pan down. Now, if I'm being real honest here, I uh, okay. I really honestly don't like the, uh, the panning system but that's just me hit Z here and you guys can see the controls 
get it down there in the water and shake. It. Oh no, I just lost some. Shake it up, shake it up. I'm losing more and more. There we go. I see a couple little gold flakes coming out there. The water's not colored anymore. Go shake it around there so I can get to them. There we go. Quit rolling around. Oh, got a picker. Already using the tweezers on the first pan. Alright, whoa. Hey, two of them out of that pan. Anything else hiding in there? Nope. Dump pan out. And each bucket get four pans out of. We'll just see what we can get. I don't know if it's me. Oh, whoops, I just popped a piece of gold out. I'm having a hard time doing this today for some reason. It's been a while since I've panning. I've been panning. But I don't really like the panning system too much. Uh, the wave table's much better. But I learned my lesson on my other save. We're going to keep panning until we're ready to go to the ready to go to the mobile wash plant. I want to keep those nuggets flowing in as long as we can. This makes getting going so much easier. Oh, well, there's some more hiding in there. Kind of hard to see. Let me try and adjust something. Well, that didn't really make it much easier. There's an option called intense lighting effects. Try turning it off, see if that'd help. Don't see any more hide in there. Go ahead and dunk it back in there and give it a shake. See if there's any hide in there. I believe I'm not sure on this, but uh, I believe when the water's turning a gold color, there's still there's gold in the pan. I could be wrong, but that's been mostly my experience so far. Get our third pan here. And lean that pan a little to the left so we don't spit any more out. We lost way more than necessary. There we go till all the color goes away. Lift it up. Oh, that's a little better pan. Look at all them in there. Big ones in there too. You see our our gold count. Slowly going up on the top right there. Unfortunately, with only having uh, $28, not really going to be able to smelt much of this. We're going to have to sell it to the blacksmith as ore, which is 40%, I believe, of full price of, of smelting it into into gold bars and selling it back to the bank. I'm selling it to the bank. Okay, uh, nothing else left in there. I'll go ahead and do this last pan and uh, I'm alright. Right, last pan is done. That was the most pathetic pan I think I've ever seen. I'm going to fill our bucket back up. I accidentally knocked that one into the water. Now let's go ahead and uh, we, we ended up with 11.11 ounces on our first day. That's pretty good. That's that's really pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and run on in, back into town to the blacksmith. We'll sell this and uh, see how much money we get. Alright, here we are at the blacksmith. Oop, don't run into the shop. That wouldn't be very nice. Parking brake, engine. Alright. Now, unfortunately, we can't... Yeah, we can't smelt anything, so we only have $28. Sell gold ore. Let's just go ahead and sell him two ounces of it. Yeah, close enough. 
hopefully that will be enough money for us to smelt the rest of it. Yes, it is. That's going to take about 15 minutes of game time. And then we can go take it to the bank and sell it. And I believe that's where we will end off the episode today. Uh, and see, so you see the little story icon flashed on the right side there. These are the journal pages right here. Kind of hard to see. There's one underneath the bench. And there's another one back over here underneath this dumpster. These are... A, Pretty sure these are the only two that I know back of where they're at. But if we come back here to the journal stories, you can see there's there's several of them. And if you want to, there you go. You can start reading the story. Uh, but there's there's a bunch of them to be found. Oop, we'll uh, back in in just a second when. The goldsmith on oh, the blacksmith's done. All right, our blacksmith is done. To, to collect your gold bar, all you have to do is go back into the menu and hit exit, and it'll pop up right in your hand. They pretty much all look the same. Uh, I don't think they vary in size or anything. But just drop it in the back of the truck. I know it's a little bit scary, especially the first couple times, but it'll stay. Run on over to the bank, sell this, and see how much we got for our first first day's work. It'd be around $10,000. That'd be nice. And then we... Uh... Oop, turn the brake back on. Got to slide something. Sell gold bars. $9,800. That's nice go ahead and pay back this ridiculously high uh, interest rate loan. So we're straight with the bank and we will never come back here to borrow money again. The interest here, we'll go ahead and show you, the interest rates are just way too high to be borrowing money. They can borrow $6,600 and pay it off in three payments, which is daily. Yeah, daily payment. But if you stretch that out, Look at that interest rate just keep going. It's it's just way too much. Better off just to s squirrel away a little bit of money yourself. But it feels good to be making another video again. I hope it uh, <laughs> hope it's a little less cringe cringy to watch than it is for me to make it. I'm feeling a little awkward. It's been a while. I'm gonna. Head on back to the claim, and I'll do a little bit more shoveling. And uh, we will hopefully, hopefully, be putting up, start, start just like we were. I won't, I'm sorry, I'm tripping over my words like crazy today. Hopefully, we will start back up right where we left off, or where I wanted to be when I left off, and at least three videos a week. Uh, whatever you want to see, whatever anybody wants to see, please leave it in the comments down below, or come see, me, or come message me on Twitter, and we can uh, see what we can do for you. Uh, everybody, have a good day. Please, if you like, if you liked what you saw, hit the like button, and want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.